Thank you for joining in Debo's today. And all this week, I've been talking about focus. And we're talking about focusing on different things. But today, I want to talk to you about focusing on a goal. Now, that goal might be right along with the different things we're talking about this week. But I want you to think about something which maybe you're trying to do, something in which you're trying to accomplish. Listen, as a child of God, if it's within his will, I can do anything that he wants for me, if you believe. Okay, now look with me in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. I, I love this, and I preached a whole sermon on this a couple months ago. For I know the plans that I have for you, God says, declares the Lord, plans for welfare, that, that, that's for prosperity, and not for evil, to give you a future and to give you a hope. I, I like that. Listen, there's hope. When you lose hope, you lose everything. Okay, so I want you to think about what it is that God wants you to do or where he wants you to uh, be successful in. I want you, this is what you have to do. You have to fall in love with the big idea of what you want to do. So let's just say, you, you're, you say this, I need to make this much money so I can pay my bills, get my debts paid, because, and also I want to be generous. I want to put God number one. I want to give unto other people. This is not selfish goals. Okay, let's just say it's that. Okay, now, what I want you to do, I want you to fall in love with that idea that you're not all stressed out, money's not your problem, but also that you can be more of a giving person. That's a good thing to fall in love with. Okay, because what's going to happen as you map this out and you're taking all the steps, and just so you know, getting to any goal is just a bunch of steps. It might be 10, it might be 50 steps. But people fall apart, in be they fall between the cracks of the steps. And the reason why is because they get discouraged. Now, look with me down here in Mark 9, 23. Jesus said to him, if you can, all things are possible for the one who believes. But notice here, if you can, <laughs> Jesus said, listen, he goes, I know you're just human. He goes, but I live within you. We possess the Holy Spirit of God. Jesus said, if you could just do your part, what's that? To believe. I'm teaching you right now how to believe. So here you are. You want to make this a certain amount of money, all for good reasons. Fall in love with that every day as you go into the classroom of silence today. I want you to see yourself making that amount of money. You say, I, I, I can do this. And God can give me the ideas of how to do it. And see yourself in that position Ask God to give you that plan, and then you see yourself there. Okay, then I want you to speak to yourself meditation. I can do this in Jesus' name. Keep saying every day, this is what I'm going to do, and, and God's going to empower me to do it. Then I want you to speak to people that you could trust what this big goal is and how you're going to accomplish it. Now, if you do that every single day, and you can see yourself in prayer and meditation, that's what the Bible says, you'll do it. Now, it's not going to be exciting as you're going through the steps, but it's okay. So I, there are things I do, and, and I'm going to be up front. I pretty much accomplish everything I go after. Sometimes it just takes a long time, and that's okay. But I never lose the power to do it because I do what I'm telling you right now. Every day, meditation, close my eyes. I see it. I see it. I see it. I can feel it. I can see it. Am I excited? No, but I pretend like I am. You know why? Because I've been after this for a long time. Now, it's very mechanical. Then I say, okay, that's it. Jesus' name, I'm going to do it. And I say what I'm going to do. Okay, then I tell people, this is what I'm going to do. I tell them what I'm going to do. And I, I, I'll even pretend like I'm excited. <laughs> you say, what? I do that by faith. And guess what? It becomes so concrete inside of my soul, I must do it. That's how you come to have a strong faith. But people don't know this process. Now, look with me in Proverbs 29, 18, where there is no vision Okay, that's a meditation. You can see it. Vision, the people perish. That's why a lot of people talk about things they're going to do, and they never, ever do it. So today, I want you to go in the classroom of silence. I want you to think about what you're going to do. I want you to see what you're going to do. I want you to speak to yourself what you're going to do. Speak to God. Then I want you to begin to tell others. But remember, it starts with you. Most important conversation that you're going to have all day long is a conversation that you have with yourself.